first we have the novel Children of Doom. I'm almost done with Messiah, so I had to get the next one. Significantly larger than Messiah. Holy cow. <laughs> that is humongous. How many pages are we talking about? Six oh wait! This is like just as long as the first one. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Okay. And then this is the real prize. This was on sale on Amazon. So with new images released for the upcoming part two. And especially since it was on sale, we absolutely had to get the art and soul of Dune. Introduction by Brian Herbert and forward by Dennis Villeneuve. This is really going to be something great, I think. This is just incredible. So smooth and glossy for the black. But then we have this gorgeous textured exterior, which mimics the large relief carving of the Shiholi. I won't go into some of the technical stuff, but I do love the dunk, the layout kind of like that, that is very fun. Wow. I wish you could see this book in person yourself. This is going to be a fantastic addition to anybody's collection. Anybody who's a fan is really going to be wowed. A nice thick hardcover and we have an excellent imaging wow. oh and that's actually the worm from Lynch's Dune Sand Harvester, the Ornithopters, looks like we have quite a bit here. This has a lot more pages than I thought it was going to. And then a nice mural of Frank. That's nice. Wow. Rich, high glossy pages. And they have a lot of the background of the making of the movie as well. Fantastic. This is probably the ultimate collector's piece, I think, for the actual look and feel for the new movie. It is pretty incredible what they were able to put together in terms of like visuals for the movie itself. It's pretty nice. The actual desert scenes are, are pretty fantastic. Caladan. And they even have kind of like an encyclopedia almost. These are always fun because it can kind of break down some more of the background of some of the better characters. This is more of a background of like the concept art for some of the stuff too. And then also how they put it together from a concept to on screen. 
translating that could be tough. But taking a look at how they decided to move forward with concept into the art direction for the actual movie is very cool. And no detail was spared. You can clearly see. The Arakeen Plains covered in the dust like sand. That one scene was actually deleted from the movie. Interesting. I'm waiting to see if they'll do an extended edition for when the second one comes out. I may end up buying the collector's edition of both movies on DVD when they're finished. But it does kind of break down everything from part one, including the sandworms themselves. I think this is less of an encyclopedia and more about a making of the movie. And kind of how they came to their actual direction for the visual. The night fight with Jameis, I think, was probably one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. This is just an incredible book. It is super well done. Huge, thick. It's got a lot of breakdown of everything in it. From different concept arts to the actual costumes that they used in the movie. And the art direction all incredible stuff and it comes in this delightful dust jacket on the exterior to be honest I thought this was going to have a little bit more of some of the other parts but it looks like it's mainly focused on the movie but that's okay because the movie was fantastic, and I'm very anticipatory of part two. I'm not looking forward to getting through all of this, though. That is a lot of bulk, Frankie. That's a lot of bulk. But you know what? Messiah was kind of short. This is supposed to be one of the better books. And also, obviously, the original is just such a classic. But I think it was a good get.